Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goals Bible, Manchester City 7, RV Leipzig, nail, that is on aggregate, 8-1, full time, I mean, what a result, what a night for Manchester City and Haaland, incredible, Haaland struck five goals while De uh, Kevin De Bruyne dazzled in the performance, is going late winner, a stunning late winner uh, in, that, in that match, uh, Manchester City now, they move on to the quarterfinals, of course, Manchester City just dissected Leipzig piece by piece in this match. They just couldn't contain them. They did not have a sniff. I mean, Leipzig did not have a sniff in this match. They just completely got destroyed. And this is the reason why. This is the reason why why uh, Manchester City are the favorites to win the Champions League. Probably Leipzig could not just get close to Pep Guardiola's side. Uh, Erling Haaland has broke a big record. Erling Haaland has broke the Manchester City's 94-year-old record for most goals scored in a season. He is now hitting 39 goals, beating the previous record by Tommy Johnson that has stood since 1929. That is just crazy and incredible. Uh, Haaland is also the third player to score five goals in a single Champions League game after Luis Adriano in October 2014. Uh, for Shakhtar and Lionel Messi in March 2012 against Bayer Leverkusen. So he's the third player to, to, to have done this. He has now scored 33 goals in 25 uh, games in the Champions League, uh, reaching 30-goal milestone in a fewer matches than any other player in the competition's history. So this is big. This is big. It's a massive, massive uh, accomplishment, accomplishment for for Haaland. He also became the youngest player to reach 30 goals in the Champions League history. 22 years old. I mean, 22 years old and 23, 236 days. Incredible. Uh, Man City fans, of course, have been underwhelmed by the Champions League. There, there, there is something they just not like uh, about this for years, but now they look like they're ready. The crowd was on fire in this game. Straight from the off, RB Leipzig uh, team were just shaking in this match and the crowd was actually on them as well and Erling Haaland like I said he was just phenomenal everything he did falls for him I know some people might say uh, you don't like him but I, it's just the fact that all the goals he scored were scruffy finishes with the ball just bouncing uh, for him but you've got to give him credit and you've got to be in the right place at the right time and it's not, it's not really luck, to be honest with you. It's a knack to put yourself in the right time and time again to be in the right place, anticipating where that ball is going to drop. And this is what he's been doing. Left foot finish, right foot finish, uh, ahead of finish. I mean, that boy has got a lot. He has got everything in his game. It was a superb all-round Manchester City performance, uh, including the fans, like I said. But... Let me know who you think is your man of the match in this match. I think it's between Haaland and De Bruyne. I would give it to De Bruyne because De Bruyne actually played the entire game. Haaland was actually taken off around 60 minutes in this match, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of you actually vote for Haaland. He scored five goals anyway. So, but do let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match. And of course, do you think Manchester City now are the favorites to win the Champions League? And are they actually going to win the Champions League? Do let me know in the comment sections. But thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.